At long last, I have assembled the Power Rangers to assemble and read Power Rangers by Boom Studios for a new read and tell. Enjoy. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus! Saber 2! That's the only one I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Jimmy Comics. We're going to be reviewing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Year 1. Volume 1. Year 1. It's the first year. Yeah, but I'm going to read Volume 1. No, you read Year 1, just collectively. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Sorry. While we fight about the edition, <laughs> um, this collects issues 0 through 12. And I think that's it. It didn't have an annual, right? Mm -mm. Um, have a... Yep, just 0 through 12. Oh. This is written by Kyle Higgins. Um, apparently Kyle Higgins is a huge Power Rangers fan. And um, he does a great job of making this not only fun for Power Ranger fans, but also fun for people that know nothing about Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. Like me. You know you know more than the average person, I yeah. feel like. We we used to play the Power Rangers games on the Super mm -hmm. Nintendo, and I could never get past the first level on the side scrolling one. Really? Yeah, like I would get off the street and into like the self storage area, and I could never get past the self storage area. So that level is that the one with the uh, skeleton conquistador? I think so. Okay, you've beaten the crap out of that game, haven't you? I think I did beat the whole thing. I think. I know I've beaten the Megazord one. Megazord. Yeah, one. I, I was okay with the Megazord one. Yeah. You fight Ivan Ooze at the end of that <laughs> one. Um, but, so, to kick off the story, in the show, the Rangers are, there's just five of them. You've got red, blue, um, black, yellow, and pink. And they fight this guy. He's just a random green ranger that shows up. But he is actually controlled by Rita, the villain. Um, they fight him, they beat him, and then the mind control goes away and he becomes the Green Ranger on the team. And his name is Tommy. So, as you can tell from the cover, this is all about Tommy, pretty much. Yeah. Tommy has a huge role in this story. And so, that's where, that's where it leads off, um, with him being part of the team... Um, and he's still struggling with that mind control. You can still see the flashbacks and he's like, hallucinations. hallucinations. He's having of Rita. Like, she's making suggestions of him. Like, kind of just small things like bail out on your team. Or, yeah, if you've ever watched the um, prequels of Star Wars, she's Darth Sidious talking to Anakin. Yes. <laughs> it, it compete with the evil head turns. Did the Jedi ever tell you about Darth Plagueis <laughs> the Wise? Um, so at the beginning, oh, and it, my my book has a foreword by Jason. Mine did too. Jason I didn't David Frank. It, it. It's really cool. It's just talking about how his he um, appreciates his role and how it impacted children over time. Um, but it starts with a prologue where um, Tommy is still under the influence of Rita. Um, like as a flashback and then it cuts to them to him riding to school with Jason um, so you can tell just by that very first page that he's still struggling with this um, and toward the beginning of the story they fight a villain you know at the end of every episode the villain would be gigantified and, and they'd have they, to break out the yeah. swords so the the main team has their zords that come together to make a megazord and tommy has his own dragon sword which is already the size of the megazord mm -hmm. so he's fight helping them fight and they're fighting near this big bridge it's pretty much the san francisco golden yep. gate bridge and his controls jam i don't know if that actually happens or if he's just like freaking out yeah but he kind of swings the tail and um takes out the bridge <laughs> with people on it and the pink and, ranger flies in with the and pterodactyl saves and saves them. Um, but yeah, he almost killed some people. Yeah. That's a pretty big deal. So everybody's afraid of the green ranger now. They still don't trust him because he was just bad in the timeline. Like they People remember when the rangers were fighting him. 
So they're like, what is he doing on the team now? And now he just took out a bridge. <laughs> so the people already don't trust him. Yeah, the United States government is just a hair's breadth away from right. declaring Green Lantern a terrorist. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised we don't get any of that in this book. Mm. Um, but keep in mind, they, high they are high school students. So you got the teacher giving them detention. Yep. Double detention because double detention. Because I do the Black Ranger sleeps in class and Red Ranger's like, You gotta be fair. Oh, I will be fair. You can join him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um so since Tommy did um he says that his controls malfunctioned, um Billy the Blue Ranger and Trina Yellow Ranger. They go and into the Dragon Zord and try to uh find out what's going wrong with the with the Zord. So um, like you can tell that Trina likes Billy. Yeah, because but, it, Billy's talking bad about himself. He doesn't yeah. feel like he's has a place on the team. And Tommy's here, and he's a fighter. And Billy says he's not. And she, and he also says Tommy's also good looking. And she goes, "You're not so bad yourself." She just goes out and says that. Yeah. It still kind of goes over his head. Yeah. And uh, but she confirms that hey, none of us could do any of the science stuff you do. But, right. So, I mean, we I, we all have a place on the team. I'm like. 98% sure they would get together eventually in this comic. The ship has sailed for Riley, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, it has for me, too. What are you talking about? <laughs> you ever heard that term, shipping? Oh. Yeah, the ship has sailed. I just did not know what you meant. Yeah, that's what I meant. We get a scene of Jason teaching a karate class, which was cool. Yeah, he does kids. that in the show. Um, and then they get a call that Jason is out um, fighting. Tommy. I mean, yeah, Tommy. Sorry. Um, is out in the woods fighting uh, Scorpina. And so, she had shown up at his house. Yeah, and right. Threatened yeah. his mom, and that's why he teleported away. Right. Because he was like, "Nobody messed with my mama." <laughs> Jeez. So they go. Um, uh, Jason and Kimberly that go to help him. Um. And they fight off the um, Scorpina and the goons. Putties. The putties, yeah. And I uh, putty the fool. Oh, I think uh, I think the Black Ranger's there too. Yeah. Anyway, they fight them off. They go back to the base, and Tommy just freaking passes out out of nowhere. He just gets all sweaty, and <laughs> hits the deck. So they're worried about him. Um, I I love the part with Goldar. Apparently, like. He was in charge of the whole um, getting Tommy to to be bad, you know, and everything. And he failed. And he failed. Um, so Goldar is like an exile. He's chained up in a prison. He could get out if he wanted to. He looks to me, he's like Gorilla Grodd in armor. Yeah. If you don't know what Goldar looks like, he's like really scary looking. <laughs> <laughs> Good description. Yeah. Thanos meets a gorilla, meets Darkseid, pretty much. I guess. <laughs> A gorilla that ate Thanos and Darkseid. <laughs> and here's that scene of... Uh... Okay, Tommy wakes up from being knocked out, and he's at home, and his mom is there like, oh, I met your friends, they're all nice people, and I also know you're a Power Ranger, and it's okay if you decide to quit. Not everyone can be a hero. And he's like, what? And then she rips off a mask and reveals herself to go read it, and is like, I love you. But that didn't actually happen, because yeah. that was also a part of his dream. That was a part of what we call the mind fuck. A dream within a dream. Dream. So he, w- he wakes up on the floor where he passed out. Um, Pink Rangers being all nice to him. It's like, you need some water. But the whole reason that she's doing this is because she's trying to get... What, what do they call it? Green chaos, chaos energy? Chaos energy. For the um, chaos emerald. <laughs> Wait, no, that's, so, that's Sonic. <laughs> Chaos yeah. Crystal. DM. Um, <laughs> they're trying to open a portal to get this mystery guy out of there that you don't know about yet. Um, and apparently Tommy's dagger is what they have to use to open that portal, right? Yeah, and the dagger is, what's con- is what controls the dragon sword. The flute dagger. Yeah. Um... But the more bad Tommy does, the more energy the crystal gets. Mm-hmm. So that's um, what she's working toward throughout the whole book. Also, um, her name is Trini, right? Like, yeah. I'm not making that up. No, you're not. That's All right. her name. 
Um, she is doing tests on Tommy um, to try to find out like why he passed out. And the cool thing about Power Rangers is like because they're connected to um, the morphing grid, they like they can tell their life energy signs. Like they can tell when something's off. Yeah, so they're taking they're a power like. scan. Of right, them, right. Which is going to show that. Yeah. Um. So Tommy's just laying there, and then they hear a big boom. They go outside the base, and the Dragon Zord is attacking. Um. What, what is he called? Alpha. Yeah. Alpha. Alpha is, is, in is dead. <laughs> And the Zord is destroying everything. Well, Trinity crawl, calls on her um, saber tooth tiger and t- to battle it. Tommy isn't able to transport into the Dragon Zord right. like he normally can. But he pulls out his flute dagger to try to like take it back over. Which doesn't work. Does not work. And then when he's about to get Because eaten, it's a nightmare. Yeah, he wakes up. <laughs> Again. Lots of nightmares. And Trini sees the readings, and she calls the rest of the team, who are all at a diner hanging out, as teenagers do, yeah. and uh, calls them back like, you guys wanted to be here. And she does this whole exposition of uh, the morphin grid, their power signatures, yeah. and how oh, yeah. all of their signatures basically look the same, and Tommy's is, like, super wild. So, like, this is Jason's scan. It just looks like a normal person. And this is his scan with, like, lightning and stuff mm. going around. He's, like, it. Super Saiyan 2. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, that's not good. And th- by this point, he actually confesses that he's getting hallucinations. Right. He actually and up to it. And that's when Jason tells th- him that, hey, well, until we get this figured out, you can't be on the team. So... Gotta take a break. Yeah, and then the Dragon Zord is taken over because Rita formed a new dagger. She says it won't last, but it'll suit their purposes. So she wants right. to take the the Dragon Zord and destroy a bunch of the city to completely. It's Gojira. Yeah, Gojira. But they're gonna completely destroy uh, Green Ranger's reputation. And Scorpina is driving. Yeah. the Dragon Zord. She's the main villain of this arc. Yeah. So the Power Rangers get together in their Mega Zord and fight the Dragon Zord. And, um, and she throws down monster sharks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Like as big seen. as a Zord. Or is that fighting the Mastodon? What's the dude's name who makes those monsters? Finster? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and his little... Steampunk thing. Fwish. Uh, what, what do you call it? Oven? It looks like a smoker. Smoker. Like a barbecue smoker. We're barbecuing some monsters like here. Like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, Tommy... Tommy actually does play the flute dagger this time. Yeah, and, <laughs> and he he gets over the hallucinations. Like, he comes to the conclusion that you're only here because I'm letting you be here, so get the hell out. Right. And she does. And he has a conversation with, what's his name? Jason? No, the blue head. The, oh Zordon Zordon that <laughs> guy head. yeah he talks yeah. to him and Zordon's like look if you I can't stop you but Jason did order you not to go but I mean if you have to do this I guess you're gonna go do it he's like he jumps on to Kimberly's Zord he's which flies pterodactyl. and he's like I have a plan get close to the Zord as much as you can and he jumps off and freaking punches, punches through, through the eye into the cockpit and starts wrecking Scorpion Scorpiana? Scorpina. Scorpina's shit. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Yeah, it was a cool fight, though. And he destroys the dagger. He just basically spikes it like Gronk. And And now we have drama unfold with the team because he did that, even against orders, and Jason's like, hey, you gotta understand, man, that I ordered you to do this. And he's like, whatever. We won, didn't we? And, and and Zach really doesn't yeah. like him. Like he doesn't trust him at all. Like Jason doesn't trust him, but Zach really doesn't mm, trust yeah, him. Yeah, Zach is a black ranger. And we'll find that out later why he doesn't trust him. Young Metro, don't trust me. <laughs> Jeez. Um But then there's a huge explosion and like it destroys pretty much the, the whole base. Yeah. And this time Alpha is actually in pieces. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, uh, he did for real. And the blue head is gone. And now we have a guy who looks like Megatron. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, he shows up. He's like, I've been waiting to destroy but you. But he's Power as big Rangers. as a Megazord. Yeah. 
what do they call him? I don't even remember what they called him there. Like Black Dragon or something? Something like that. Okay, I didn't read this part. You didn't? Mm -mm. At all? Mm -mm. It's one of the issues. Should be. You just told me to read the first book on Hoopla. Bro, no, I, I sent you three of them. Yeah, and you said just read the first one. Nope. You did not say that. Yeah, you did. No. Yeah, you said don't worry about the second one, just read that first one. That's all we got, and um, I guess we'll film this later. Yeah. It seems that Wyatt, in all of his strength, could not muster the ability to actually read the entire book. So join us as we join the Rangers again for the new Read and Tell Part 2 in the same video. Speak as fast as possible. Yeah. All right. So we're back, and Wyatt has finally finished the story. Yay! So now we can talk about the other two thirds. Yeah. My bad. Welcome to the time jump. Yeah. All right. So we get a flashback when the the original Ranger team, not including Tommy, um, is in Italy. Right. Yep. And this guy's giving a speech, He's... and they fight this giant. Um, Clay dude with four arms. Yeah, and he's constantly quoting uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah. A true renaissance man. I like this fight. I thought it was fun. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to help me out because now I'm like a month removed from the story. <laughs> I, think, I think you'll be fine. Well. So yeah. What would you like to say about this part? The fight was cool and we get a little bit of... Uh, some inter-team drama because as soon as it's over everyone's like "Ooh, red ranger like all the civilians are like very good yeah. red ranger but black ranger zach he was piloting the megazord pretty much so you actually beat the guy yeah he slices the dude across the chest and destroys him and he stopped uh that monster from stomping on red ranger and the italian prime minister but everyone's still like here's all this credit to red ranger and uh then he Rita, gets kidnapped. Yeah, Rita sees this and thinks she can use this. So she brings him up to the moon base. And, and this gets to the part where why the Black Ranger doesn't trust Tommy. Because mm -hmm. he's been through the same mm -hmm. thing. And he did not uh, respond to her temptation. Her spiky exactly. temptation. I don't know. I thought he was going to turn for a minute. <clears throat> With all that she was showing him and stuff. I could tell it in his eyes. I knew he wasn't going to do it. In his eyes. Oh, I like how the, in this cartoon, yeah. cartoony art. Go gorilla dude's like, you're making the correct decision. Puts his hand on his shoulder. Who, Goldar? <laughs> yeah, Goldar. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I know. And then he, like, decks him. <laughs> but yeah, he was almost Green Ranger. No. Yeah. That would have been sick. Mm -hmm. Is your favorite Ranger the Black Ranger? No, it's not my favorite. Who's your favorite? The red one. It's yeah, always been the Ranger. red one. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite? Either, either red or blue. I like Billy. Blue? Yeah, Billy's cool. You are Billy. Yeah, I am. Wyatt is Billy. Much. Hashtag Wyatt is Billy. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. And, um... You see, yeah, he tells Zordon, and, uh... I don't think oh. he, like, actually tells him what happened. Yeah, I think he tells Zordon. He doesn't tell the whole team. Like, he relates the story. Oh, no, you're right. He did tell him. And then he goes to the team, and all the inner team drama that was set when he was kind of jealous uh, is kind of set away because they all thank him and they acknowledge him for being the one to save it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And At then, the diner later, yeah, and then yeah. Red Red Ranger's like, "Oh, don't it's worry, your team building." Yeah, Red Ranger's like, "Don't worry, your dinner's on me as long as it's not Italian." <laughs> so they kind of end off on a little pun. Yeah, and then it shows when they're. Um spying on Tommy. Yeah. So they're about to kidnap Tommy. And is that one, does Rita hear the voice? Yeah, she hears this voice. The black dragon. Dude. Yeah. Um, so chapter six opens with a news report about... Yeah, this is getting back to the main story. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tommy's mother is worried and it's like, where are you? Like she Empty opens his room. room and he ain't there. 
and then we see the Rangers facing Black Dragon. Mm-hmm. And they get beat up. He has the ability to take away their yeah. powers. Like, their their suits are phasing out because of this, like, his screaming, pretty much. Yeah. And Black Ranger said it felt like your skin is getting cut off with a knife. Yeah. So. Like, it actually does hurt them because their life force is tied to the suits. Mm-hmm. So, they fight him and they lose. They're trying to retreat. Mm-hmm. But before... They can. Uh, uh, he ta- Billy gets yeah. He takes Blue kidnapped. Ranger Billy. Yeah, kidnapped. So the rest of them get away, but not Billy. And he's and able he takes to, Billy's coin. Yeah, and he's able to cut off their connection to the Morphin field zone, whatever. Morphin grid. Morphin grid. Morphin. Yeah, grid. yeah that. So they lose their powers. Mm-hmm. The only one who has his powers is Green Ranger because his. He's on a different. Plane, yeah, he's yeah. on a different wavelength. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, I guess. Um, so, he was able to do that through Billy's coin, right? Mm-hmm. Cutting off the whole team. Well, what does Tommy do to fix that? He, well, we're not there yet. First he get there. But for the viewers, he takes his morphin coin. Yeah, and he gives his power. To, he, he splits he it splits evenly it among the rest the of the team, of and he doesn't have any power. But he but can still do. he can still control the dragon sword with his dagger. Yeah. The whole time. So yeah. I mean, but everyone else gets this cool Green Ranger mm-hmm. uh, look to him. So the Green Rangers. So have we seen Goldar yet? Yeah, he's he was in the last volume a little okay. bit. Um. So he is like under pretty much self-imposed house arrest. Mm-hmm. Um. And that's where they put Billy to put him with him, but. Ironically, they don't, like, fight or anything. Yeah, because, well, I mean, they can't. Goldar is chained to the ground. Uh, I mean, yeah. mm. he, he could probably hurt Billy if he wanted to. I well, no, like. because... I don't, he because, walks away. No, because later on, when he's talking to Rita, when Billy gets out, he says, I couldn't stop him because I was chained. Oh, yeah, but that was BS. That was BS? You, yeah. think, you think he can bust out? No, like, he helped Billy at the end. Well, yeah, but so I mean, that, that was, was just that was just opening a portal. Well, I'm just saying, like he's he's walking around, he's sitting down, and he's walking away. Okay, yeah. But anyway, he doesn't fight him anyway. No, they kind of. But Billy makes it. They they have him. some they have some cool conversations. It's really cool, yeah. yeah. Man, Godar, he looks freaking tough. I would not want to run into him. Yeah, for real, him. he's scary looking. <laughs> um, I don't know. From from this conversation, it, it seems like Billy is going to reach him at some point. Yeah. And he does. Billy's inside your mind. <laughs> in your mind. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, they are going to try and get Billy back because Tommy is pretty sure that he's in the dark zone, or whatever mm-hmm. it's called. And he's the only one with power. So him and Jason take the dragon sword, which they still have up to the moon. Yeah. But before, <laughs> before this happens... Uh, Rita gets control of all the other Zords and positions yep. themselves around the globe, and she gives the world an ultimatum of 24 hours before she's going to start wrecking everyone's cities. And uh, so, yeah, she's like, surrender in 24 hours or I'm going to kill you all. And she's going to be, like, the queen of the world. Yep. So, yeah, Dragon Sword launches into space. It's super cool. Yeah. Did, did you not, like, play the theme in your head? Yeah, I did. While you were dun, reading this dun, stuff? Dun, 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 dun. Especially when it got to the fights. I did that a lot. (laughs) The end of volume three. (laughs) Uh, It's a cool fight, though. Well, they're trying to break Billy out, and they run into the Black Dragon, and he's huge. He can, like, grow or shrink himself Mm -hmm. at will. And he defeats Jason, who's piloting the Dragon Zord. Yeah. And then... uh, Tommy tries to fight him, and he's just normal. But then he talks him into shrinking because, hey, you, you really gonna need all this size to beat me? And he's like, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want you to have an excuse for losing. Yeah. But then he kind of hesitates to do the final blow, and Jason's able to wake up and uh, get a swing in, and they're able to escape. And while that's happening, uh, the rest of the Rangers who are in the, their own pocket dimension. Also, that's some wibbly wobbly, timey wimey shit. Um, <laughs> they uh, recontact Alpha, who's not ay ay anymore in his body, and mm-hmm. uh, 
he's telling them all this stuff, and they don't know if Zardon, Zordon, yeah, yeah, Zordon, whatever his name is, if he's alive or not, because I mean his blue head got blown up. <laughs> so <laughs> they, he's he's disappeared before in the morphine. Yeah. Room, so like, it's plausible that he could still be alive. Possible that he escaped. So that's what they're hoping for. Yeah. And like you said, Alpha is still alive. Yeah. And whatever piece of him there is. Yeah, his little brain. So yeah, here's the team in the green suits. Yeah, they get their green power, and they're going to go to war. That's really cool. Yeah, so the deadline is coming in, but now that they all have their powers, uh, they're able to call in and get in their zords, and uh, the... Dragon Zord shows up and Black Dragon is like, Did you not learn from last time? And he's like, Actually, I did. I'm controlling the Dragon Zord from the Dragon Dagger, so I don't have to actually be there. And then the team shows up because yeah. Zords can travel Sorry, faster than light. I just want to show the Red Ranger. Yeah. It's, it's really cool. He's green. And he's got the Green Ranger yeah. vest, too. Yeah, the guys get the vest. The yeah. girls don't. Just the Red Ranger. Yeah. No, I think. Uh, the no, they don't guys. get it either. Oh. I don't know why. Because he's Jason, he's the leader. Yeah, probably. They have to make him look cool. Yeah. So they all get their Zords back. and uh, But uh, Black Dragon still has uh, Billy's Zord. Yeah, Billy he's hasn't got his coin. shown up yet. And they start fighting, but Billy... Like, Makes a deal. Yeah, Go with Goldar. Goldar is... He can pull up interdimensional cable I guess <laughs> and just bring up portals so and they're look, just watching yeah they're just, just watching, watching it fight. and Billy using his billiness is just like <laughs> wait a minute there's a hatch here on the back of the neck you couldn't see it when he was small but now that he's big I can see it yeah, I think he's, he's, not, he's I think he's mechanical organic. and hey Goldar you don't really like him do you <laughs> So I think the yeah. enemy of our enemy is our enemy, so maybe if you let me go down there and beat him, you can look useful to Rita again and get your position back. Well, you make a good point, Billy. I will consider this. And he does it. He doesn't consider it very long. He's just like, all right, here you For go. For five seconds. Yeah. All right, here. Here's your portal. Yeah, and they... You make a convincing point, Blue Range. Do not make me regret this. Yeah. Enemies of our enemies is what Billy says. So Billy just shows up on and top of that yeah, building with Tommy. He's like, Tommy, there's no time to explain. <laughs> like, what? How'd you get here? <laughs> so they jump inside of the dragon, dude. And they immediately just start taking it apart. Yep. And there's no one piloting it. It's just a mechanical the Zord. Yeah. It's, but it, it's the dragon Zord. Yeah, what Tommy notices is it looks just like the black... I mean, the, the his dragon yeah, Zord the looks green. the same. Like, identical. So... That's foreshadowing. Yeah, wibbly wobbly. So yeah, the he starts shrinking after they do stuff, and they get transported away into another timeline dimension. Yeah, wibbly wobbly. So they're not they're not clear if it's the future or if it's an alternate timeline or if it's both. Yeah, because it could be both. Yeah, it could be. It's definitely the future though. Yeah, because Earth is now completely redefined. Redefined. Yeah, they, they, there's a big statue of Rita and the Green Ranger, and they do discover that this is an alternate timeline where Tommy, they still, like, destroy that sword and free him, like, from being totally under Rita's control, but when they do that, he just decides to follow Rita anyway. Mm -hmm. And he eventually, he kills. So the, the Black Dragon dude is not actually even in that Zord, right? Yeah. The, this, the he's, voice, he's still in his world. Yeah, the voice that's talking to Rita. Also, Lord I think... Lord Dracon. Yeah, Lord Dracon. Dracon, Dracon. Dracon, these nuts. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, okay. But I, also, I noticed Rita never shows up in this alternate timeline, and he's sitting Ooh. on the throne. I'm pretty sure he probably 86'd Rita. Probably. Yeah. He's got the power. He's got the root. I didn't even think about yeah. that, but you're probably right. And he's White Ranger, too. He's not just Green Ranger here. So yeah, here's Rita. See, there's a giant statue with him and her. And he. this is when he was the Green Ranger. Yeah. I don't think he's gotten around to do his uh, version of Stalinization, <laughs> which means getting rid of everything about Rita, because I'm pretty sure he's going to blow up that statue. and <laughs> just. I guess. That's how, you, that's how you do as a dictator. <laughs> you get rid of anything, any information about the one before. This is a little side story about yeah. a Blue Ranger. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. And I, re- I really like this art style. I like this art style better. Yeah, it was pretty good. Then I don't know if style. I like it better. I, it's more detailed because a lot of stuff in this can get really blurry. But, but look at this pose, dude. Look at this. I don't know. I just like it better. That's just me. It's it's good though. But yeah, so they're doing a combating this monster, and Billy has to do take the shot, and he freezes. So Kim Doesn't take the shot. Yeah, Kim takes the shot anyway, and he goes on this big journey, and he's, he starts reading hero books. Yeah, because he's wondering how he's gonna change and actually be a hero, and he's uh, actually morphing under his clothes because he's mm-hmm. worried that he'll be attacked at any time during the day, and he wants to always be prepared. Yep. So he's doing all this research on this stuff and uh, and he t- he keeps having conversations with Trini about how oh I don't feel good enough and she's like yes you are you're very valuable to the team yeah. and he's like but no I'm not <laughs> she's like well just yes you are shut up <laughs> stop being so down no on yourself <laughs> no <kiss. laughs> so then we open up he is in training and being a total badass yeah <laughs> like he's showing that he's like the best shot on the team and running around like Keanu Reeves and John he Wick. He slingshots a bomb into a giant monster. Yeah, and wins. And then Black Ranger uh, comes in and is like, dude, that was totally awesome. And he's like, yeah. And after he leaves, he talks to Alpha. How and many times like, does he run this program? He says 64. <laughs> yeah, and Black Ranger's like, holy crap. Wow. So he goes and has an enlightening conversation. He's like, hey, Billy, you all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So Billy has been thinking that everything has to fit in a formula, and he's not fitting the hero formula and is yeah. having this little crisis. But Zach tells him that everything doesn't have to fit in a formula, you nerd. <laughs> yeah, you nerd. <laughs> so yeah, he gets over that. And he's also saying that there's nothing wrong with being scared, mm-hmm. which I think he needs to hear. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and then he hangs out with the team again and goes and puts, that, re- book puts that book back, and everything's all good in the neighborhood. That was a good story. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Yeah, it was good. So now back to the main event. We see that the all the Everyone's rangers hugging their parents. Yeah, and then we see Billy and Tommy's parents are like, "Holy crap, our son is gone!" <laughs> yeah. Also, in, in the future, line. they're in like a big stadium, and they're telling everyone about their missing kids. What does his parents do? Like, how I know I get it. They're missing kids, but I mean, usually they would put that on the news, not get the entire city into a stadium, and have them give a heartfelt. Please find our son. Oh, later on in the book? Yeah, maybe? later on in the book. They're like in the middle of a stadium. It's at the very end, I believe. Oh, I don't know. Of this chapter. I'll have to look at it. We'll get there. But So we start out with uh, Billy and Tommy in alternate world. They're walking around. Oh, I love this. This, this is what I was telling this you about. This is cool. The Black Ranger soldier. Yeah, that's cool. These are pretty much the SS troops of yeah. this world. Sturm trooping. I never would have thought to, to do something like this. I would have. Oh, good for you. Yeah. That's super cool. I mean, you know I love sci-fi soldiers and stuff. So, like, the old school is now a prison? Yeah. Correctional Institute. The Finster. Yeah. The Memorial. Finster Memorial. So, Finster apparently Finster's died. dead. <laughs> so, so, Rita could be dead. You're right. I'm pretty sure that probably mm. happened. I don't know why I'm Finster would be I'm dead. I'm calling it now because he doesn't need his giant monsters. He has mm. the swords. And then we go back to Goldar. And Goldar's explaining why he, the Blue Ranger got away. Yeah, he's like, I was, see, I was up. chained up. Yeah, I couldn't see. do anything. And Rita is like, okay, you can come out now. Yeah. You've learned your lesson. Give you a chance to redeem yourself. And the rest of the Rangers are looking around, trying to find out where, where they Tommy went. and Billy went. What happened? Yeah, what the heck didn't happen? Now we're back to and then they, Tommy finds this talking sword. Yeah, in the remnants of the command center, I believe. <laughs> Like, it's talking to him, and I thought, Zordon? Saba. I was like, is this Zordon? Is he coming back? But no, it's... Saba. I thought it said Sasha when I read it, but no, you're right, Saba. 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 Saba, Saba probably. Maybe that, that makes, that more, makes sense. more sense. That makes more sense, yeah. <laughs> so then this cool-looking gunship show up, and like... Oh, yeah. They are pretty cool-looking. Yeah, they flash. And then Lord Draken's here. Yeah, and he's the White Ranger. He's not just Green Ranger. Yeah. And he takes off his helmet. He's white and green. Yeah. He got both. Mm-hmm. So he takes off his helmet, shows that he is actually Tommy. It's old Tommy! Old with gray Tommy. hair and wrinkles. Yeah. But it's weird, because we see a Trini later on, and she don't look too old. 
Really? Yeah. I, it may be her daughter. I'm not sure. But, I mean, she looks just like Trini. I'll show you when we get there. Okay. Well, the sword... Um, is able to call out a, the falcon zord. Or one of the older zords. The tiger zord. Yeah, tiger zord. And then they get the falcon zord and are able to escape. Yeah. Which is also the same color. Mm-hmm. So apparently Saba gets two zords. Apparently. And then we transfer back to our world. See, this is where they're in this, like, stadium. Uh, that's the... That's uh, just the high school. That's the gym. The gym? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I thought it was, like, a big stadium. They got the entire city. I was like, okay, I know it's sad when kids go missing, but, I mean, I'm sure a lot of kids are missing right now after this huge worldwide disaster. <laughs> yeah, it's their high school gym. <laughs> yeah. So we transfer back to Rita, and she's talking to Finster... And Fencer's like, I've got my magnum opus of monsters. And Goldar's like, what's this? And she's like, oh, Goldar, a better you. So yeah. They're going to make Goldar into a giant monster. I guess. So then uh, we transfer back to Tom. A lot of transfers in this one. A lot of transfers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we transfer back to... Uh, the future. The future. Of the alternate timeline. And we learn the story of how the Green... La the I was about to say Green Lantern. The Green Ranger absolutely murdered... <laughs> Red Ranger and destroyed everything and became the White Ranger because their only hope was this power of all the happiness in the world and that would make you White Ranger and they chose Jason to do it of course but they don't do it in time and uh, Tommy comes in there and murders Jason gets the White Ranger power I also love that he teamed up with different Rangers too because there's um I'm not really sure what they're from. You see this guy? Mm hmm There's another white ranger in there. There in the corner. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, and the the ninja dude. Mm hmm What's his name? Kenoshuvi Yamamoto. Okay. What? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that something else? <laughs> <laughs> and so we get this cool wide shot of the green... The green. There's a flying red dragon there. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't notice that before. But yeah. yeah. The Empire of Rita versus the Rangers. Which Overall, the art in this book is really good. Yeah. So they go through, and now Red Ranger freaking dies. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's trying to become... There's a giant pumpkin. Oh, wow, it is. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to become... White Ranger. What, the White Ranger. Yeah. And he kills him, and he becomes the White Ranger. Yeah, you see him holding... holding... broken mask. I wonder if his head is in that mask. Ooh, I hope not. <laughs> Maybe not. I hope so. It's dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make it dark. Okay, and then uh, they're like, well, I mean, well, Tom, Tommy's like, what if I become that? Like, I'm kind of scared, and Billy's like, oh, don't worry. Oh, you you think this is Trini? Yeah, it looks like her. Uh, it could be. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it's either her or her daughter. They may run into old Billy. But it ends on that, right? <laughs> yeah, that's okay, where it ended. Okay, okay. So that's the end. We'll be back with more. But then, we see... No, we haven't gotten this part yet. What do you mean? That was the end of Volume 3 on Hoopla. This wasn't in there at all? No. Two or three? Mm-mm. Really? Mm-hmm. It was just another Bulk and Skull issue at the end. Yeah, we get the Bulk and Skull stuff. But they didn't show you this? Mm -mm. At all? Nope. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what happened. Okay. <laughs> did you did you get this story? No. Didn't get that one either. That was not in Hoopla. That was a goofy story anyway. Yeah. Okay, Bulk and Skull, and I think it ends on Bulk and Skull. That, that's how this one ended. Well, this story I'm... Like, this was issue 9 through 12. Right. I honestly don't know what issue this story was in. I don't think it's like its own big See, story. Like, this is it ends there with yeah. that, and then Bulk and Skull, right? And that's it. That's really weird. Yeah, and then Volume Four coming in twenty seventeen. I don't. I don't know where that would be then. But I'm about to tell you a really cool story. Okay, thank you. All right, so this part is with the alternate Jason, and it's before he gets killed, obviously, by 
Tommy and all that stuff. So he goes to this crazy land with a Japanese temple. With Kenshiri Yamamoto. <laughs> he's looking for Ninjor, which is that guy I was okay. trying to think of. So he's collecting so, all the other Power Rangers. What? He's collecting all the other Power Rangers. I think he's trying to find the the White Ranger thing. Oh. I th- but there's yeah, other yeah, there's other think, Power Rangers. I think that's on what he's doing. Too. No. Well, I mean, what, who's this guy then? You haven't read this. Well, yeah, but Why are who you is correcting he? me? His I'm name is Ninjor. Is right? he a Power Ranger? He is a Power Ranger. He's of, collecting of Power Rangers. No, yes, he, he's he looking is. for the White Power. But on the journey, I think he's collecting Power Rangers. No, there are no others. Well, who is this thing? <laughs> His goal is not to try to get Ninjor. His goal is to get the power from Ninjor. So he can become the White Ranger. Anyway, he's try- he says, I come on behalf of Zordon. Earth needs your help, right? Yeah. Well, Ninjor kicks him out of the temple. Oof. So he has to climb back up again. Right? Mm-hmm. He was looking for that, right? Yeah, they need to harness the white light. That's their only hope. So, he climbs back up the mountain. And Ninjor snaps again and kicks him out of the temple. And the temple disappears again. So then he walks across a desert, jumps over a cliff, (laughs) gets in there again, and he dodges his snap this time. (laughs) So Ninjor is just like Thanos snapping him? (laughs) Pretty much. He just goes... (laughs) should have done that to Green Ranger. So he he says, all right, just listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, why do you think I'm your only hope? And he he says, um, he tells him how Rita used um, the dragon power coin to build her own ranger. And Zoran believes that the only way to beat him is with the white light of good. And he says, you do realize that Earth isn't the only world that I have to protect. And, like, I can't throw it all away just for your Earth. I, I can't, like, risk all of existence. Like, what if they get the white power? Oof. Right? Because they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were um, right. You were right, Ninja. <laughs> so, he sends the Red Ranger out to get it. And he fights these two spirit beasts, which are the Tiger and the Falcon. Hmm. That we saw. Getting some really bad glare. So, you can kind of see them. So, he tries to fight them, he gets clawed in the face by the tiger, and then the falcon gouges him with its claws. <laughs> and Jason is just a punching but he jumps. But he jumps out of the way and they crash into each other and they blow up. Okay. Yeah. So, boom. Then he grabs the coin, he tries to morph, and it like shorts out and crumbles like a cookie. I love that comparison, like a cookie. Like a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> And he says, oh, you're back, and empty-handed. The coin's protectors are quite powerful, so I suppose you're just not worthy. <laughs> and he says, I did get the coin. And when I tried to morph, it disintegrated. He goes, you actually reached the coin? <laughs> no one has ever reached the coin. <laughs> he said, there never was one to begin with, was there? And it, the and then Jor goes, just because the white light doesn't exist does not mean it cannot exist. So he's going to make it. Okay. So he creates it for their fight. And that's the from only... All, from this story, what I've got is all you really need is Ninjor to be Green Ninjor. Ninjor. you got to call on Ninjor. Make him make you another power coin. No, just let Ninjor fight him. Just snap. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Ah. Pothole disconnected. Well, it's like, it's like when he snaps, it sends like this huge... Um, force of wind that like knocked him out of the temple. So he knows that Futon Ninjutsu. He, you can't like snap him out of existence or something. He ain't a thing. But yeah, Ninjor's pretty cool. So did you like that part? It was, yeah. I thought it added yeah. quite a bit. I thought it was cool. I think it would have been better if we got to see it before we see what happens to Jason. Oh. 
Because, I mean, you know, we're like, it's kind of pointless because, I mean, we know yeah, he does get the white power. It's Ninjor's fault. Yeah. <laughs> Ninjor. The Tommy's so badass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. yeah, this alternate Tommy is way more badass than <laughs> real Tommy. Yeah, you're right. I, the evilness adds to badassness until the plot demands it doesn't. I, <laughs> I'm excited to read Continu- the next part when we get to see how they fight back with those um, the resistance people yeah and see if that girl was actually Trini or just yes, Trini's daughter I am intrigued yeah we I might find intrigued. old Billy and old Trini I think it was Trini but she just like the drawing of her just didn't look that old and really, but I think she's meant to be that old well um, yeah and Asians they don't age <laughs> Normally, Jeez. they look very youthful when they get that old. I'm just saying. Well, that was Power Rangers. <laughs> You're one. Hope you guys enjoyed because we certainly did. Yeah. You know, even though it took us like a month. Sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking. Still really good. And we look forward to reviewing the next volume. So we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. Have a good time. Why'd you command me? You gotta me morph. Out? You gotta morph, man. <laughs> that looked more like a Kamehameha. That's what they do. They they get their morphin belt thing and they they go zebra to tiger.